Hello, I'm Bilal, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot errors for Amazon Elastic Container Service tasks that cannot post secrets or registry authorization. Let's get started. When deploying an Amazon ECA service or task where you receive one of these error messages, note that when we use the 1.40 platform version of AWS Fargate, we must also use the Amazon ECS Elastic Network Interface to fetch secrets or pull container images. This means that all network traffic flows through the Elastic Network Interface within Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, the VPC, because the task uses your network configuration and the Elastic Network Interface that are placed within your Amazon VPC. Also note that Amazon ECS Container Agent uses the Task Execution IAM role to perform AWS API operations such as information that retrieve from AWS System Manager Parameter Store as well as AWS Secret Manager. The error messages that I'll talk about in this video are related to network configuration issues and IAM role and permissions. First, let's open the Amazon Management Console to see the task error. To troubleshoot these error, we'll use the Troubleshoot ECS Task Fail to Start Runbook. Let's go through the required steps to do so. Open AWS System Manager Console. In the Navigation plane, under Change Management, choose Automation. Choose Execute Automation. Choose the Own by Amazon tab under Automation Runbook. Search for Troubleshoot ECS Task Fail to Start. Select the AWS Support Troubleshoot ECS Task Fail to Start card. For Execute Automation document, choose Simple Execution. In the Input Parameter section for the Automation Assume role, Enter the Amazon resource name or ARN of the role that allows system manager automation to perform the actions. Note, be sure that the automation assume role or the IAM user or role has the required IAM permission to run the AWS support troubleshoot ECS task fail to start runbook. If you don't specify an IAM role, the system manager automation uses the permission of the IAM user or role that runs the runbook. For cluster name, enter the name of the cluster where the task failed to start. For task ID, enter the identification for the task that most recently failed. Choose Execute. Note, after execution, the analysis results are populated in the global output section. However, Wait for the document status to change to success. Also, look for any exceptions in the output section. Please note that the execution takes time to complete all the checks. I have already run the execution for an advance. Let's jump on to its output. The VPC endpoint security group is not allowing the inbound traffic. Let's have a look. The inbound rule is missing. We add a rule, HTTPS, and we can allow the VPC cider of our ECS service. The registry domain docker.io is unable to resolve. This is because we are using a private registry here and the subnets are also private, which are unable to resolve to internet. Let's have a look at the route table. The route table associated with the task subnet does not have access to internet or NAT gateway.
Next, the role ARN, which is the easiest task execution role, does not have permission for secret manager. Let's find the role. This is the role used by the ACS task. Let's add the permission. We are using the secret manager read and write permissions so that our credentials are able to be read. If we cannot use the automation workflow to resolve the issue, we can manually perform the following check. Check the route for your subnet to Internet Gateway. If your Fargate task is in public subnet, then verify your task has an assigned public IP address. Also confirm the task has a default route to the Internet Gateway. If we cannot use the automation workflow to resolve the issue, we can manually perform the following check. Check the route of your subnet to Internet. If your Fargate task is in public subnet, then verify that your task has assigned public IP address. Also confirm that the task has a default route to the internet gateway. When you launch a new task or service, turn auto assign public IP address. I have a public service that I can show you. Here is the auto assign public IP address. Let's check the task IP. If you use private subnet configuration, then don't use the internet gateway in the public subnet to reach to secret managers or system managers. The secret manager or system manager VPC endpoint are in public subnet. You turn on Amazon provided DNS in your Amazon VPC DSCP settings. Let's have a look. Note, you can't turn on auto assign public IP for existing tasks. To reconfigure existing services, don't use the Amazon Management Console. Use the AWS CLI interface instead. If you use the Cloud Permission Stack to create easier service, then modify the network configuration property to update the service. If your Fargate task is in private subnet, then verify that your task has a default route 0.0.0.0 to the internet connectivity source. The internet connectivity source can be a NAT gateway, AWS private link, or other sources. If you use a NAT gateway, then place your NAT gateway in a public subnet. If you use a private link, then be sure that your Fargate infrastructure can use the security group for your Amazon VPC endpoints. If you use a custom domain name server, then confirm that the DNS query settings. The query must have outbound access on port 53 and use UDP and TCP protocol. Also, it must have HTTPS access on port 443. Check your network ACL and security group settings. Verify that your network access control, network ACL and security group don't block outbound access to port 443 from the subnet. Note, Fargate task must have outbound access to port 443 to allow outgoing traffic and access Amazon ECS endpoints. In this example, you will see the screen, we allowed all traffic from ACL, that is the default setting. Check your Amazon VPC endpoints. If you use private link, then you must create required endpoints. The following endpoints are required for AWS Fargate platform version 1.4 and later. Note, if your task definition uses secret manager, system manager parameters or Amazon CloudWord logs, then you might need to create these endpoints. For private link, check that Amazon VPC security group allowed traffic from the Fargate task security group or Fargate task VPC CIDR range on TCP port 443. Check your IAM role permissions. The task execution role used by ECS task 
grants the required permission to the ACS container and Fargate agents to make API call for the task. You define this role inside your task definition. In this example, Fargate requires this role when you take the following action. Pull a container image from ECR. Use AWS log driver. Use private registry authentication. Use secret managers. Use secret manager secrets or system manager parameter store to reference sensitive data. If you use case involve any of these scenarios, then define the required permission in your task execution role. Now you know how to troubleshoot error for Amazon ECS service or tasks that can't pull secret or registry authorization. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing for all of us here at AWS.